what I got to do for me ain't putting nobody else in danger. Y'all know me. I'm in that place of holding on by a thread. And I've come to realize for myself, I know about all of the other creatives that are working a traditional nine to five corporate job. I'm just going to speak some encouragement to you folks until you find exactly what you're supposed to be doing. I'm going to encourage you to hold on. And I'm also going to encourage you to not go give eight hours of your day away to build somebody else's dream and not at least put some of that time that you have left in your day back into yourself. People who drive so fucking stupid. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to encourage any and everybody that is working a traditional nine to five or in a non-creative role to support yourself, your family, etc. I'm going to encourage you to at least spend some time with yourself for yourself to build your dream, whatever that means. I don't care if it's reading a book. It wouldn't matter to me if that meant taking a class at your community college as you work on whatever your technical skills are for your creative role. I don't care what it is. As long as you are doing something that gets you one step closer to doing what your true calling is creatively, do that thing. Do the thing that makes your heart sing. I just made that up on the spot. Y'all can have that for free. This is why I do what I do. I want to inspire you guys to keep on pushing creatively toward what you need to do. We're almost there. Wherever we're headed to, we're almost there. And if you keep thinking about it like that, you're one step closer. Keep keeping on to keep on. You can keep going at a thing for too long, but at some point you have to surrender to it. I'm super duper close to getting my watch hours so that I can get in for review with YouTube to monetize my channel, but you know what? I am babysitting the process, and that is not... That's a no-no. And I know that. Consistently checking my watch hours and my analytics and all of that, and it's not changing. <laughs> so, what that's telling me is I need to learn to be patient and lay off the instant gratification. Okay. As challenging as that is, I know it's for the best. I have to trust that, again, that the universe knows best. Everything in due time, I've said that before, my heart's desire in due time. So, I can't rush it. I gotta chill the fuck out. It really just is what the fuck it is. I'm excited to be off, quite honestly. I'm excited that it's hump day, I'm healthy. I'm working on making myself happy. I'm working on being happy within myself, let me say that. That is a virtue. I say patience is a virtue, happiness is a virtue. It's different realms of happiness. You can be happy in multiple areas, but not happy with progress. You can be happy in love, but not happy in work. You can be happy in life, but not happy in love. You know what I mean? So let's just take a let's take a moment and live in the miracle that is this melanin. How the sun is beaming on this skin. And you know what I noticed? One big wide smile a day keeps the depression away. For a while I always thought that I had seasonal effectiveness disorder. And while I've never been clinically diagnosed really around this time of year I tend to feel something. I can't explain it. It could be unaddressed trauma from dealing with my dad's passing. Even though it's been a while. It usually happens around fall. And I don't know why. So I gotta unpack that. It's for the best. But today, I'm just thankful. Thankful for the journey. I'm thankful for the trials and tribulation because everything that I'm going through is preparing me for what I've asked and petitioned the universe for. Everything that I am experiencing is to sharpen and hone me to be a better version of myself than I was yesterday. I am thankful 
for that. As challenging as it may be while I'm in it, I am thankful for that. It's a beautiful day. You know what I mean? I'm taking in how beautiful nature is and the trees and the leaves and all of that. I'm just so elated. I'm so elated that I get a chance to experience this. I'm also thankful that the things that I thought were going to be bright. Can't talk today, y'all. I'm also thankful that the things that I thought were going to be backbreakingly difficult, the universe has decided that they won't break my back. They won't challenge me to the point where I'm going to die. They stretched me to the edge of my abilities. And then, even when you stretched microscopically thin, you can always find a little more room to stretch a little bit further. And that consists of stretching is what enlarges the territory. That's what I'm learning. Live on the edge of your abilities. Live on the edge of your abilities because as you keep doing that, you stretch. You grow. You ascertain. You overcome. Nothing better than that. Nothing better than progressing. And being a better version of yourself than you were yesterday minute, yesterday hour, yesterday, yesterday week, yesterday month, yesterday year. I'm almost home. I'm thankful for the miracle that is safe passage. I'm thankful for the miracle that is growth and self-expression. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for you people that watch my content, share, support, and unequivocally give of yourself. You don't have to do that. And I'm eternally grateful for that. It's something about the way the sun is out right now. It lets me know that the indigenous part of my bloodline did not perish and die. That legacy lives on in me. I am thankful to carry the torch. I will not let y'all die. I'm probably y'all wildest dreams. I'll see to it that we live them out loud until the fullest. looking at my eyes and I look sleepy. I may need a nap. That's another thing. For all my creators, you can at all help it. Do not work yourself into a fucking early grave. As I minister to you, I minister to myself. Do not work yourself into an early fucking grave. Speaking from experience, because I know that I have the compulsion to hammer at something until it's done. To just work, 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 work. And meanwhile, that is admirable and that is something that you have to do to see results sometimes. It's okay to rest. That grind 24 7 mentality, that shit is unfucking healthy. And. You ain't gonna be no earthly good to nothing or nobody if you are not at least healthy and well enough to pick this thing back up the next day. <sighs> Gotta take a little bit of my own advice. And 
I'm a firm believer in doing what the fuck you got to do for you. But I'm me doing what I got to do for me ain't putting nobody else in danger. I need to know. That's what it is. Me being crabby and irritated with all of this stupid ass shit happening. I need a moment to decompress. And once I decompress, I'm going to be fine. Hell, I'm already fine. I just need a moment to decompress. It's become too much. And I'm okay. So I will see you guys later. I will see you guys soon. I'm out. Two fingers in the air like a player. Love you from the top, bottom sides, all the way around. And to the third power. It's your boy Uncommon Sense.